Strange Things in Strangerville, Chapter 17, First Date with a Stalker. Welcome, friends. This is another interesting chapter in the Strange Things in Strangerville story. We're picking up where we left off with our friend Bonnie, who's made a gradual progress in investigating Strangerville. She has most recently been facing with the big decision of a romantic variety to make. Rain Riverblood or Victoria Blackwood. Last time, Bonnie went on a date with Victoria, which she agreed to consider. Now, let's dive in and see what Bonnie's going to do next. We joined Bonnie on a Monday, already up, starting her day with fertilizing her garden. A little more than half an hour later, she heads off to work, working hard to earn some good money. After coming home, she goes right to feeding her cow plants. An hour after, she invites Victoria and talks to her for a bit. They, things escalate in a romantic way, leading to Bonnie having woohoo with Victoria. Their steamy exchange lasts for a full hour, seemingly fun. Afterwards, Victoria heads home, seemingly satisfied. Once she is gone, Bonnie lays down for a nap. At 8 p.m., she is awake and feeding her cow plants again. Half an hour later, she invites Rain out on a date to Stargazer Lounge in San Myshuno. After arriving, she gets into a fight with Penny Elderberry at 9.33 p.m. Bonnie and Rain then decide to sing a duet. Then they had the busy, fruity drink and have a chat. After chatting a bit, Bonnie leans in and they share their first kiss. From then on, the day continues pleasantly for hours at 3 a.m. She begins to feel that Rain and her probably aren't going to work. She continues chatting with Rain, occasionally hyping up Serena as an alternative for Rain, to which Rain expresses that she agrees and likes Serena. Shortly after, their date comes to a close and they head home. At 3.45 a.m., she sets up her table outside to sell potions and other stuff. After almost an hour, Bonnie gets into a magic duel with a Patreon slash neighbor at 7.11 a.m. She invites over Victoria to tell her that she has chosen her. Happy by the news, they head to the bedroom and climb into bed. Having passionate woohoo together, their passion goes for a wild half hour. At 8 p.m., they take selfies together, so happy to be together. 20 minutes later, Bonnie asks Victoria to officially be her girlfriend, and after hearing her answer, she happily jumps into Victoria's arm. What will happen to our lovely couple? Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Kimmy. If you're new here, today we are doing episode 17 of the Strangerville series. If you missed last episode, we had a date with Rain. And it was determined that Rain was no longer going to be an option. So we had Bonnie hook her up with Serena. And if you also seen the beginning of this intro, you also have a little brief replay on that. I think today, since today is love day, that we should spend the day with Victoria. Go on a real date. Just the two of them for love day. You know, they started dating. So maybe it's their first holiday together to make a big deal of it. And I think that you guys will like their outfits because I did them off camera. And I also placed a lot right across there. It's a Valentine's Day lot, which I thought would be cool. So, with that said, let's jump into today's episode and start a date with Victoria. And we are going to go to this Valentine's dinner, which I think would be very cute. Here is the thing. I want this table. Is this who I think it is? Max Villery. Oh, hello. Also, I gotta change their outfits real quick. All right, y'all. So I am back. They both got their outfits on. We're gonna go sit together. They're so cute. There is Bonnie's outfit. It's so beautiful, isn't it? And then there is Victoria's. I think she looks so stunning with her hair up too. And she got makeup on for a change. She did it all for Bonnie. They're both wearing rings on their hands. Both of them got the same type of ring too, the different colors. And I'm telling you, these guys are just so cute together. I'm so happy they got picked. I think Bonnie is going to order for the table. 
So we are going to order a sour punch for the both of us. And we will order something sweet for Valentine's Day dinner. You know, maybe we go all out and get steak. A turkey dinner. We'll go with steak. Steak sounds like a dinner you get on a date. You know, I wouldn't know. <laughs> don't really go on dates. And uh, when I do go on dates, I don't order steak. So I'm sorry if you guys hear me opening my bottle. I'm, I have to stay hydrated because I'm burning up. Now, do not talk to that dude. Who's that way? Who was that? Right this way, I don't know what that meant. Can we sit together? Tell me right this way, I'm already here, bro. But whatever. Whatever, sir. Alright, so we're gonna compliment her appearance. Say she looks really beautiful today. She's like, you look so beautiful in your dress. She usually wears purple and black. So for once, she's doing something girly. And Bonnie took note of it. Bonnie also has her hair up and she did her nails for the occasion so did uh victoria they both did the nails and you know they're just flirting with each other and you can leave my conversation go somewhere no go away <laughs> to the abc conversation describe first kiss with her i hope <laughs> That's someone else's first kiss. Could that be awkward? Um, let's see. Super romantic compliment. Come on, stop being so cute, Bonnie says. Aw. Aw. Dang, she must be hungry. Look at her. You see that? Victoria's like, I don't get to have vampire blood. I'm a good vampire. So I don't eat blood. And this is just so delicious. Dang, Victoria is eating it like she's a glutton. Look at her. She's aggressively eating that. Like she don't get fed at home or something. Bonnie's just like casually eating it. And Victoria's like gobble, gobble, gobble. I think you're done eating. I guess I'm gonna drink. Bonnie is a vegetarian. Oh, I just... I knew one of them was a vegetarian. I could not remember who. But with Victoria, please. Look at them though. They're so cute together. It's Valentine's Day. Super romantic. And you can tell already that they're gonna be like the one. The one you don't fuck with. <laughs> Maybe she'll even get a picture of Victoria. We get like the whole body photo of her though. We are going to continue socializing together. I'm gonna get Bonnie one of those lean potions because I don't know what happened. I tried everything, but she keeps gaining the weight instead of losing it. So I'm gonna give her a lean potion and hopefully that fixes her problem. Please don't turn out like Callie though, because that was just terrifying. And what the heck was that? Y'all saw that, right? Does it do anything? Oh my lord, that's too much. That like backfire. Look, you can see her backbone. That's just I'm editing her. That's too much. Oh, I love this photo. This is the perfect one right here. Ask about her income. Of course you want to know the income of your girl you're dating, right? Um, let's ask about... Ask if Sim is supernatural. Your best friends, I'm sure she'll tell you. Even though you already know who she is. Um, ask if she wants kids. Ask about vampire history. Sim is having a conversation. They're so cute together. Alright, so let's see what she's replied with so first question was how much what about her income she said she had a lot of money her parents are rich and she said asked about if she's supernatural she goes i am a vampire why are you jealous <laughs> she opened the idea of kids and we asked about vampire history she's done about a history buff maybe you could check the library and see if that helps <laughs> she's, she's having such fun on the date <laughs> I got a good angle. This looks weird. <laughs> and we just got to give her flowers and then we completed everything for our love day, which is so great. She's so cute. So we need to go to gardening and just give her a rose. Most likely she's going to give it back. So just going to do it like that. I want to give her a rose. I think a rose signifies romance. Aww. I think she stinks now too. All right. So it's time for everyone to head home. And I'm thinking of taking this money. Hear me out. Got just in my chair. My back's killing me. All right. But 
thinking about taking his money instead of building onto the house. What I want to do is have Bonnie get a plot of land, a retail spot, and she can um she can then have her own little potion shop. We can name it Bonnie's Elixirs. It'd be so cool. This is the new range. She's got her acne problem right now, but we gave her still the half shade, but she's growing it out a little bit because she's been hanging with Serena. And she's still badass for sure. Get updated outfit. She still got the bad acne. We are going to have her go to bed. Also, we decided that we were going to give her a nickname called Tori. And Bonnie's name, get ready to laugh at this, but my boyfriend decided to name her Bon Bon. <laughs> like a Cinnabon. Literally just sitting here waiting for her to get done. So I'll come back when she's reached the max on this gardening skill. All right, she has mastered her gardening skill. So you can now be able to purchase rare seed packets containing most exclusive, most expensive plants everywhere. Finally, I she's about to start work in like five minutes. So let's get her out here, ready for work. Now we're just waiting and she's off to work. So she's now home. That's great. Let's All right, you guys. We finally got the place. I found this on the gallery. It's a simple build. I plan to like renovate it later on. This is her new potion shop. Now let me give you a quick little tour. You walk into the front door. You see one big room. This is furniture that came with it. I plan to fix all the hedges later on. Uh, furniture that came with the place. And the seller bought it. So I sold it. Through here, she bought a cauldron and has not painted the place or the floors or anything in here. She added a sliding door and she has a backspace here for her garden that she's going to use. Now, right now, I know it looks a little weird on the inside and I agree with you. What I plan to do is, as Bonnie earns money, she will continue to rebuild her franchise. It's like her first day getting her place. I'm sorry for her, guys. I really am. This place here is going to end up being for a witch's kind of shop. So it's going to have crystals, skulls, candles, potions of all sorts of potions. It's going to have potions of plentiful needs, potions of whatever else you can talk. And it's going to be great. I might even sell some frogs. Like, it's going to be amazing. So, and I also thought about using this lovely uh, mannequin set. So we can make like a witch's outfit and sell that in here too. So I have a lot of options. We are also in Henford on Bagley. She decided to go out to the countryside thinking it might be cheaper to buy land. So she got the cheapest one she could find. And it's got a little parking spot and everything. I'm going to leave a like. Comment and share as well as subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of all my uploads. And I will see you guys later. Bye.